Good morning, guys. It is 6.30 a.m. right now, and I'm about to start taking this pre-workout and then get moving. I have to go to the gym. I've been up since 5.45, but I'm moving really slow this morning. I ate a waffle because I woke up hungry, and so I'm also trying to like give myself a little bit to let that digest like i knew i needed to eat something but at the same time it was a kodiak cake so it was like really heavy i still have a band-aid on my forehead from my burn if you didn't see my last vlog i burned my forehead pretty bad it's embarrassing i'm gonna wear a hat to the gym obviously so i can keep this covered and keep my ointment on it i got new leggings that i'm gonna wear today from lululemon these are the aligns um in 25 inches but these ones are different than my other lines they actually say lululemon like on the side but it's like really subtle so, I love these. Okay, I'm here about to go in. It is so foggy outside. And I'm wearing my Beats today, which I never really wear. I usually always stick to my AirPods. But I forgot that I had these. And the one thing I do like about these over my AirPods is they're definitely louder. And when I wear my AirPods, sometimes I just want it to be even louder because I feel like I can still hear the background noise of the gym and I like to drown everything out when I'm working out. I'm gonna try these today because I haven't used them in a while. Just got finished i am super sweaty i'll show you guys my workout stats i did all back today which i told chad i'm trying to like not just do upper body all in one i'm trying to split up back from like my arms so like back and shoulders and then like just all arms one day obviously legs is all one and then i'm usually going to do like cardio and core together because I've just always done that. Here's the stats, 49 minutes for my workout, 220 active and 285 total calories. And my average heart rate was 129. And I also get asked a lot what I put my Apple Watch on and I always put it on traditional strength training when I'm just working out at the gym. I don't recommend doing HIIT unless you're actually doing high intensity because your stats are calculated based on what type of workout you're doing. I'm back home and I'm about to make a smoothie really quick, my daily harvest smoothie. This one's mangoes and greens and I have not tried it. So I'm really excited. I'll tell you guys what it has in it really quick. Mango, spinach, cucumber, coconut, lime, and whatever that is, camu camu. I am so excited to try this one. I'm also gonna put my greens blend superfood uh, supplement in it. I look a hot mess right now, but I put on my jacket because I'm like sitting here shivering because I just finished this smoothie and it made me really, really cold. But I'm gonna go hop in the shower really quick. Chad and I are taking all of our Christmas decor down today. Chad and I are going through our garage and just starting to clean things up <laughs> because we're going to put our Christmas stuff away and I just found this sign that says floss bitch. I found this on Google and I thought it was really really funny so I literally printed it out and laminated it. This was a few years ago because I was really bad at flossing and I would always forget and I was like Chad I have to make some kind of reminder and put it in the bathroom. So for the longest time this was like on our bathroom mirror so that I wouldn't forget to floss. This was like two years ago, maybe three. 
<laughs> and I just found it in this bin and I'm just laughing because I don't even know why I saved it but it's really funny. It's much later if you guys hear fireworks going off that's because it's New Year's Eve. I think I mentioned that um, but Chad and I aren't doing anything. We're just kind of hanging out here at our house playing video games. We've just been like cleaning all day and honestly we just didn't feel like doing anything. My kind of ideal evenings are spent hanging out inside anyway, but it's like so loud outside because of the fireworks. But I didn't get a chance to show you guys my new and improved office because it's technically not finished yet. Um, but I did get something in that I'm about to build. It's a garment rack that's white to kind of go with the theme of my office, but I'll show you guys what I've been working on. So here's a little overview of my office right now. I'm trying to make my workspace kind of cozy and just I don't know less cluttered like it has been lately i really wanted a nice clean and cozy space to get work done um i feel like this is always what i do like at the start of a new year i just want to like refresh so this is the rearrangement that we're working with and what i just now worked on was taping these little lights all the way around my desk and i just feel like it adds to the vibes and makes it really cozy oh yeah and i'm not leaving this here i don't know why like the lights look like they're flickering they're not flickering i think it's because of my sun styled sign like it's making it look like everything's flickering but it's not flickering really weird but yeah my little fake planter thingy i'm gonna put in this corner i just need a hammer and i don't feel like going and getting it right now so i just like stuck it over here so i can have chad hang it for me later it's a new day and i didn't vlog all day today because chad and i spent the entire day deep cleaning our house and it felt amazing to do that after the holidays like you just have this desire to clean everything and when you like put away your christmas stuff so we got all of that done today and now our house is just sparkling clean and it feels so good i also redid my nails and you guys these are my favorite nails that i've ever done here's a look for you i'll insert a picture of the inspiration that i got off of pinterest and i really took my time doing these and i think they turned out so cute i wanted to film the whole process but i want to do that as a separate video i like want to actually make like a tutorial video of how i do my nails because i feel like more people need to know about how to do this if i can do it anyone can do it and for me it's like obviously nice to save money but i actually like enjoy doing them i find it really relaxing and i did get a lot of questions about like what dip powder i'm using and i'm using kiara sky like i have a bunch of them in here so like if i was doing them green then i'll do like this dip powder but if i do a design like this i just use the clear dip powder and then obviously i put tips on and then i shape them and everything like they do at the nail salon but instead of it being with like acrylic i just do layers of dip which is honestly like just as sturdy um they really don't break they they hold up pretty well so i use that and then i have these like little brushes that i got off amazon and i just use white gel polish to paint on the designs and i'll show you guys my other hand because honestly this is the hand i'm really proud of because this is the hand that i actually use my left hand with so to be honest can we take a minute because like they look pretty good for me having used my non-dominant hand this is like one of the reasons that i was hesitant about trying to do like designs like this because i figured i'd only be able to do a good job on the nail that i use my dominant hand for but to my surprise both of them turned out really good because i just took my time so that was the adventure of today and i still have this on my forehead and i'm so sad about it it's like really bothers me i i think that might be like part of the reason why i don't want to be on camera because i'm like oh look i have this like nice looking thing on my forehead look at that oh so bad here's a garment rack thing that i got I'm going to build this really quick and use this for like outfit planning and stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh.